I, I can't believe we're going to do this. I am so shocked and we're going to have... Uh, I'll discuss some things, my thoughts, uh, at the end of this video. Okay, so it's time to walk into the Istanbul capital and let's see what goes down here. Uh, I will probably, you obviously, have to use some of these artillery attacks, but that's it. And then, boom, that capital is ours. Thank you very much. Well, Annex the city, 73 happiness, not bad. I don't think that, yeah, we should be able to take this over because we have multiple military air units nearby we can use if we absolutely have to. I would have liked to have nuked it a bit more, but um, I guess not just because they, 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 they deserved it, I think. And uh, just to be safe, let's use one bomber. Bam. And before I end the game, let me see what I can do to uh, Greece here. Did I, was I ever going to be able to take this over? I can do four ranged attacks using artillery, battleship, one battleship, and one bomber. Yeah, we should be able to take this over, just, just for the sake of things, just to make sure that they remember me for the next game when they think about nuking me at some other point, <laughs> which is really awesome. That the, the fact that they even did that was amazing. Oh, my gosh. Why did I get that much happiness? Oh, I think that came from... Did that come from Istanbul or Corneth? I don't know. Uh, I don't know where that came from, but... Whatever. Anyways, let's go ahead and end the game. Just wanted to see if I was able to take that over. Uh, border gore. There's a little bit of border gore, but eh, it's, it's okay. And there it goes. Boom. Um, well, let's just wait. I think everything might explode right now. Of course it would. Uh, knowing my luck. Okay, so there it is. Oh, jeez. Um, it's a relief. It's... This is... <laughs> It is a relief to finally have this campaign over because, holy crap, that was just way too damn much. Way too much. Um, number one in demographics, obviously, and almost everything except for literacy. I was actually 10% behind Assyria. Amazing that they didn't win the science victory. Well, I, they were probably really close. Uh, they needed to be a little bit higher to get up those spaceship parts. They didn't even build one. I'm assuming that they were... It might have been one of those AI choices. Sometimes the AI, what they do is they just launch a whole bunch at the same time or turn, you know, one turn after the other. That's what I was thinking they might have done. I didn't see any spaceship parts when evading, invading their, their empire, so I don't, I don't know. But anyways, let's look at the rankings. How did I do? Oh, my goodness. Yeah, rankings, this is probably the highest score I've ever had. Um, I guess it's Caesar. I found Rome, a city of bricks, and left it a city of marble. Let's check the replay. And... I'm just going to look at the graph here because I, I, that's, that's really all that matters. I mean, the maps, I mean, uh, maps, all it really matters. Okay, so um, <laughs> I don't even know what to say. I just I can't believe this is over. Um, I, okay, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to press play because this, this was 545 turns into this campaign. I guess I don't, I don't think I'm even going to summarize it. I think I'll have you guys just look at it and remember what happened, but... Um, I will say never again. I will never ever again play with the Extended Eras mod. This mod is ridiculous. Fun. I will give it to you fun, but you got to play it on... Honestly, if I look back, if I would have seriously looked back and told myself, listen, it's going to be this hard, even on Emperor, I would have brought it down to King. I'm not even kidding. This is ridiculous. Remember how difficult this was? Nobody was even watching the series at this point. I will give you guys an insight on the channel. You guys weren't watching the series because I think I, I, I would know why. I even thought it was a little bit boring because I wasn't doing anything. It looked like I was going to get my, just my ass handed to me. I'm, uh, the views for this series was really low. Uh, and it was always lower than the AI-only EU4 campaign. But ever since I started wrapping, as of the last maybe 10 videos, um, this, this series finally started skyrocketing in views because I think you guys are like, oh my god, he finally managed to do it. Um, yeah, I, uh, I, I'm shocked. I, I grabbed Venice and it was just terrible, terrible start. Look at what's going on here in the east. Uh, you got Egypt, Arabia, the Ottomans were doing good. Um, I'm guessing it was a constant exchange of cities, or it just was none of these civs was able to dominate this region. That was probably it. None of the civs were able to really dominate. Then I grabbed Germany. Look at that. Look how terrible I'm doing at this point. It's turned 220. And I'm just doing absolutely horrible, horrendous. Remember, though, it is the extended era, so it's not necessarily like a standard game 220 turn. So, uh, you know, just keep that in mind. Iberia is completely filled out. I remember when Spain was really hardcore. Uh, Celts did good against France. I know I had a lot of Spanish help taking over these initial few cities from France. This is probably the best graph I think I've ever seen because it's going by so slow. Um, I remember how slowly I was taking cities, so it is nice to see 
Uh, boom, and then I eat France, so things felt a little bit better. I felt like a, a part of the gang. I felt like part of the gang involved here. No one had to, I remember this. No one had really gone for the northern part of the Sahara Desert. Seemed pretty even. I got really lucky with Spain because I finally got my shit together with the naval units, and uh, then we start rolling over. I took those three cities initially, northern, I, just north of Iberia. I was then able to take over. That, those were some huge wars, those huge initial wars in the Mediterranean, huge naval wars, constantly at war with Carthage. Um, it feels like such a long time ago. I was at war with Spain and Carthage. Uh, boom, trapped Madrid inside of the middle of Iberia. Took that over pretty easily, then set my sights on the Moroccan capital. So surprised Morocco never declared war on us. Uh, so surprised Denmark never declared war on us. Had to take a huge adventure up north to take over the Celts. The, you know, Cologne got switched over towards Egypt because of my stupid ideology. Remember, I was, I was going to autocracy first. Do you remember that? Honestly, looking back... I think order was good. I think order was pretty, pretty smart. And um, you know, now, while I'm on the subject, I got to give a huge thanks to uh, guys like Isaiah and Logan and, and some of you guys that are repeating, uh, repeatedly giving me com or suggestions in the comment section below. I thank you guys so much for that. That really helped out so much, and uh, I, I really, really appreciate it. I guys, I couldn't have done it without you guys. Seriously, I read those comments every single day, and. Um, I know that, you know, I had, you guys have your strategies, everyone had to play Civ a little bit differently, I know I didn't take all the advice, but I definitely tried to take note uh, of the things that you guys were suggesting, and I did take some of the advice, um, but I really couldn't have done it without you guys, and obviously at the very last few turns, I mean, it was kind of just really quickly, the, the, the uh, I guess the speed at which I was taking over cities, this was the final end of the game right here, big old massive just blob of of Rome. Wish I would have cleaned up the borders a little bit, but everyone's been pushed out. Can't believe it. Um, while I'm on the subject, yeah, probably won't be playing the uh, Extended Eras mod anytime uh, ever again, I guess you could say, only because I... It was a great mod. It's a good mod. I will say they definitely... It's a very... You could tell the modder really put a lot of, of into... A lot into it. It's just... I don't know. I was... I was... I was getting... I would get so frustrated when the AI would constantly be able to spam units out. And um, I, I didn't realize that that was going to be part of this game because the AI already gets advantages with the difficulty level. I, I guess I guess I shouldn't blame the modder. I think I, I, think I just warn, I should warn everybody that you know before you play the Extended Eras mod, you got to really bump down that difficulty because it's ridiculous the amount, of, the amount of time it takes for AIs to build units. It's so dumb. Uh, this was a complete luck campaign. I will say that, no doubt. I think... I think that a lot of my other Civ 5 camp camp campaigns, you know, I, I think I, I did good. You know, I thought I'd, I had a good strategy. This was so freaking lucky. I, I, I'm not taking any credit here. I got unbelievably lucky with some of the things that happened uh, with the Huns, with Carthage, with, with uh, Spain. I mean, it was really lucky. I, and I'm not really taking any of the credit here. But I thank you guys so much for watching. Um, and I will see you guys very soon for the next Civ 5 series. Hope you guys are ready. It probably won't be as long as this one, and it definitely will not be with the Extended Eras mod. Uh, but yes, I will be coming back very soon. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.